It's been two years since Hawkins walked out on the darkness. The band which sold more than four million albums and put glam rock back in fashion. And while Hot Leg may look like the darkness, that's where the similarities end. It's similar to the darkness in that I sing for it. <laughs> so it's not just like a guy in a cat suit and some men with jeans and t-shirts, it's all of us singing from the same hymn sheet, um, doing man rock loudly. In 2003, the Darkness debut album, Permission to Land, went straight to number one. What followed was a rock and roll cliché, three years of relentless touring, followed by the lead singer checking into rehab for drink and drug addictions. It's um, much easier to sustain a tour when you're not sort of hung over all the time and uh, all wired or high or drunk. Whatever. I've been clean and sober for a long time now, so I'm much happier and healthier. It's a very different experience for other reasons too. This time round, Hawkins has chosen to stay away from the major record labels, instead sharing his music through Music Glue, an online music distribution company set up by New Zealander Mark Meharry. Well, I think it's actually a really good thing for musicians because it's you know you're not your career is then not at the mercy of whoever it is in a, in a suit in an office who decides whether or not you're good enough to pursue, you know, record and manufacture stuff for. I mean, the main thing is get your stuff out there and get it heard and then the proof will be in the pudding. Hawkins says being in control and being able to communicate directly with his fans means anything is possible. Hot Legs album will be released in New Zealand early next year with plans to tour soon after. Belinda Henley, London, 3 News.